Hey, everything be like off the top these days. Like these we days, I don't even know track, what a pad track. is these days. You know. Hi guys, this is Humble Spirit. Thank you for joining me and taking out your time to come and listen. I really, really appreciate it. But um, today I just wanted to come like really quick and talk a little bit about uh, the release of Kodak Black. Um, he just got released on August 18th, 2018 after serving seven months in a Florida jail. Um, now, I've already spoken about Kodak before he went to jail, and now that he is out again, you know, here I am, um, but I found something kind of strange about him, you know, once he got out. Um, I'm sure by now, anyone that is interested in him has seen the release video of him walking out of the jail. Now, this is where it kind of gets a little strange for me. <laughs> As Kodak is walking out the door... I mean, you know, his eyes look insanely demonic, and y'all know I'm going to be real, so, <laughs> you know, his eyes look very demonic, um, and that's obviously the first thing that I noticed, of course, but I also noticed that his tattoos were either missing completely on his face, or they are extremely light, or faded, or something to that nature, and he was only in there for seven months, I mean, he wasn't even in there for, um, a year or more so I don't really understand how it can how it can be faded um but I also noticed um you know that he wasn't really trying to look at the camera too much um mainly probably because the tattoos weren't there um now before he went to jail though he had you know the three crosses on his face you look at that release video, those three crosses aren't there. Now, I'm not sure if you can have tattoos removed while in jail. Uh, usually people get tats while they're in there. You know, I've always heard of people, they come out and they have like a billion more tattoos than they had whenever they went in there. But I mean, honestly, I've never seen someone come out without tattoos if they went in with them. Okay, his nose also was kind of strange to me because if you have seen any pictures of Kodak Black, um, you know, he has a pointy nose, but the in the release video, I mean, his nose was way more uh, pointy at some type pointed uh, angle, and it just didn't look the same as before. Um, now, I don't know you know, what excuses his fans will give, but of course they will, and, you know, but if you're a true fan, I mean, you should see that that wasn't him in that release video, okay, I've been seeing so many comments, they're like, oh, he's still the goat, and oh, he was eating good while he was in jail, and whatever, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> might want to look a little closer, sometimes we cannot take things for what, you know, it's looking like, um, you know, I mean, I'm not saying they killed him, straight up because he could still be in jail or something but you know i'm just saying whomever that was that walked out that jail was not kodak black the kodak black we know if anybody knows how these elitists get down then you know they like to clone people especially if that that said person is telling any sort of truth or exposing any type of secrets in which he did you know, he was saying that uh, sports is rigged. He was saying, um, he, you know, he was talking about the 400 years of slavery. Um, he was talking about uh, the heart machine. I mean, he was talking a, a lot of truth and exposing a lot of um, secrets, you know, within uh, this world and within this matrix. And, you know, he had the power, as I said in, in the last podcast about him, you know, he had the power to change the minds of these uh young kids and, and young people, this younger generation, which is why I said, you know, they put him out and diluted him with all the uh, mumble rappers and things like that. But I mean, you know, at the end of the day, he really could change some minds and he really could uh, change, just change a lot within the younger generation. So, you know, like I said, you know, in his songs and, and whatnot, you know, he was telling a lot of truth. But speaking of his songs, I mean, the song he released a little before going to jail was Roll in Peace. 
Okay, and if you take the first letters of the title of the song, Rolling Peace, you get R-I-P. Okay? Don't know if anybody's seen that or not, but when I first discovered that, you know, I thought maybe it was for, it was foretelling the, um, the, uh, ex-Tentacion guy's death. And I was thinking maybe, you know, it had something to do with him because that's when I first noticed it. But now that I'm going back over this and, and, and now, you know, I'm kind of thinking maybe it was for both of them. Maybe it was for Kodak and the ex guy. In the video, you know, they didn't have uh, the ex dude really in it, which was kind of foretelling he wasn't going to be here anymore. That's how I seen that. But then they had Kodak Black in a jail suit as if he would die in jail. Okay. At the end of the video, um, they had uh, people representing, I guess, demons that were, like, laying hands on him. And, you know, he looked normal at first whenever they were first, you know, uh, laying the hands on him. But as the time kept going, as the camera kept panning out, his eyes turned demonic as if that's not him anymore. As if that's not Kodak Black anymore. All the while, he still had the jail suit on. Okay. Now, when someone is cloned, they still sound pretty much the same. I mean, they kind of look the same. But it's not them. There is a demon that is in control of that artificial vessel. So, when I look at the release video of Kodak Black, you know, like I said, the first thing I noticed was his eyes look very demonic. Okay? And like I just said, in the Rolling Peace video, at the end, they were laying hands on him. At first, he looked normal. So, when he first went in jail, he was normal, right? Then then getting out, and you see him now, and you see him, um, you know, as he's released, he's, his eyes look very demonic, as the video showed. Like I said, kind of foretelling that maybe that wasn't going to be him. Maybe something was going to happen to him while he was in jail. Okay, so when I look at, you know, that release video, like I said, his eyes look very demonic as if it's a demon behind those eyes. And I know, I know a lot of people will say, you know, he's not a clone and I know the media, you know, has a way of manipulating the mindless masses. But honestly, guys, we have to be watchful. We have to be watchful. We have to be smart. You know, discernment is key. I'm just saying, for instance, you know, someone like Kevin Gates, okay? A lot of you guys know about him. He's a he's a rapper as well. Um, but, you know, he takes his, his secret oath to heart, you know what I mean? Very seriously. Someone, he's someone that never really told any truth. And it's, if he has, I mean, you guys let me know. But I haven't really come across anything where he's been telling anything or exposing anything or whatever. But, um, you know, he pretty much stays within the agenda, okay? And he went to jail. And whenever he got released from jail, I mean, he came out looking exactly the same. Exactly the same as when he went in there. Okay? So my question to you is, so why is there changes in Kodak Black? Because like I just said, <laughs> if there's somebody that is, Telling any type of truth, exposing anything, and it's not a part of the agenda. Because you have rappers like J. Cole. You have rappers like, um, uh, I can't even um, think of who else. But, you know, they, they are conscious rappers, is what they're calling them now. Conscious rappers. But basically, they're paying them to be conscious. That is the agenda. They're telling them, you know, uh, say these certain things so it can seem like you're, you're woke, <laughs> you know. Fool the masses even more. Like I said on, on a previous podcast, I mean, the devil will wake you up just just to put you in a dream again, you know? <laughs> so, you know, like I said, I mean, so why is there changes in Kodak Black? Because he was exposing things that they didn't want him to expose, nor did they tell him to expose, nor were they paying him to expose. That wasn't, that wasn't his agenda. That wasn't what he was supposed to have been doing. Okay? It's funny, you know, because the media will show you the truth in plain sight. 
So, I mean, they showed him the release video of him looking different, not having the tattoos. Okay. And then they'll probably uh, uh, put out another clone or something and, and um, or another imposter, whatever you want to call him. And that one will probably have the tattoos. Just to make you feel crazy like it never happened. Just to make all the conspiracy theorists, the, the truthers, and, you know, whatever, um, sound crazy. Okay? But like I said, I mean, if you're a true fan of Kodak Black, you should see that that's not him. Okay? We can't get so excited, you know, because he's out and whatever. I mean, you need to look at look and see if that's actually even him. So, like I said, the next time you see him, I mean, the tats could be there. But what I do know is, the, ta the tats definitely aren't in the release video. They definitely aren't there. Okay? And, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of sad, you know, but we, cloning is, is something that they do. Like I said, they love to clone people. And, I mean, if you do your research, I mean, they like, who um i think bernie mac back in the day was saying that they had you know multiple clones of him they had multiple clones of of other people and he was still alive at the time so that's why i said i mean kodak black could still be in jail honestly he could still be in jail but with so much that's going on in the world right now um like there's something going on in 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 every corner of the earth right now i mean why wouldn't they release him early just to bring another distraction you know why wouldn't they say hey oh we're releasing kodak black so all the mindless little young generation can get all you know happy and not be um focused on what they should be okay but I mean, I don't know guys, this is, this was just my take on this. And if you guys have any more information or, um, comments or anything, then definitely let me know. But I mean, I might do an extended version on patreon.com slash humbly spirited. So make sure you guys become a Patreon. I think that, um, I might get, uh, my oh so humble guest, humble redeem to join me on that and get his take on it as well. Um, but you know, it's just, it's very sad, guys, and we have to be paying attention because, you know, like I said, they like to hide things in plain sight, and I feel like that's kind of what they're doing with Kodak Black, so definitely, um, be paying attention, be on the lookout for my extended, uh, version of this on Patreon, and, um, you know, I hope that you guys keep your eyes open and constantly praying for discernment, Okay? But um, I'll praise to the Most High for allowing me to do this and putting this on my heart to say um, thank you all for tuning in. As usual, I really, really appreciate it. However, you may be tuning in. <laughs> We're pretty much on every podcasting platform now, which is very exciting. So go check us out and listen there as well. Um, just to name a few, we're on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play Music, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, TuneIn, Podbean, iHeartRadio, and Podcast Addict. And if there is any type of podcast um, app that you have and we're not on there, then definitely let me know so I can get us on there. Um, but if you're on any of those things, just type in Humbly Spirited Truth Network and we'll pop up. Um so, you know, if you have any of those, go listen to us there. Also, you can always tune in on the website, HumblySpirited.com, or you can download Humbly Spirited in the Google Play Store. That is the personal app for my podcast. Um, so, thank you again for listening, guys. I love coming to you guys, and um, and I'll try to keep it up. So, father willing, right? <laughs> but uh, come back and join me. And um, this is Humble Spirit, and may we all see the truth within the lies. I can even roll in peace, why? Everybody notice me, yeah. I can even 